these are going to be your instructions for accessing online instructions from Volusia County Schools. First thing you'll want to be in is Google Chrome. It tends to work the best, but most other browsers will work. In the search bar, you're going to search for vcsedu.org. That'll bring up the Volusia County Schools web page. From here, you want to look for vPortal in the top bar. When you click that, it'll bring you to the login screen. There's a reminder at the top about how to log in for the students. It's a little different than their standard login at school. When you click login, it'll bring you to this page. The login is a little different than the school login. To log in at home, you need to use one and then your alpha code at vcstogo.net. The password is the same. It's their birthday in numeric form. When you're ready, click sign in. That'll bring you into your vPortal. To access our main online instruction, you will want to go ahead and move over to Digital Resources. And then iReady. Suggested iReady instructional time will be available in the Canvas course described later in this video. All right, once you are back in your vPortal, Another place that I want to show you is in Office 365. That is right here. When you're in Office 365, you will see a link called Teams. If you click that, it'll bring up Microsoft Teams. In Microsoft Teams, this is where we will be able to chat and answer any questions that you may have. This is a perfect way to get in contact with your teacher. Through here, I will be able to answer all of your questions as well as see what you are doing each day and, and help you out if you need it. If you need more specific help, you can also schedule a meeting with me and I can do a video chat with you. Another area that I wanted to show you was Canvas. In Canvas, you will have, down at the bottom, you will have an instructional continuity plan for third grade. I'm going to let Becky Lucas tell us more about this. video, I'm going to show you the Canvas general navigation for grades K through 5. For grades K through 5, students will use Canvas for their core instruction for science and social studies. And please note there are math and ELA supplemental curriculum inside Canvas. What you will learn. You will learn how to access Canvas in the vPortal how to access the ICP grade level tile on the Canvas dashboard, entering the course from day one, and overall general navigation. Please note that while the images and text may change as we continue to work hard to build this course, the process for access will remain the same. Let's get started. First, you will access vPortal from the Volusia County Schools homepage. Once inside your vPortal, you will locate your Canvas app. Mine is in a folder. Your Canvas app will look like this. Please click on it to access Canvas. Once inside Canvas, you will be entered onto your dashboard. The grade level ICP Canvas course tile will look like the one pictured here. Each course tile will be named by the appropriate grade level. Please click on the course tile to get started. Once you enter the course tile, this will be your homepage. This is for fifth grade. 
It states, welcome to your VCS digital learning platform. Please click on each day to get started and familiarize yourself with a new digital platform. You will start with the red tile, Introduction and Instruction Part 1 for March 30th. Please click on that. Once you enter this tile, you will notice that it will give you a journey on what the expectations are moving forward with the remote learning. You have the option to click Next or you can click Home. By clicking Next, you will notice that it takes us to our instructional days, day one through 13. By clicking on day one, I will go to science or social studies. Once I click on science, you'll notice that it takes us to our learning standards, our resources, and our assignments. Please make note of the middle column. To complete the science grade five ICP day one lesson assignment document, you will download this document. You will click the enable editing button at the top of the document. You will manipulate the document to fill out the appropriate answers and then you will click share. You must have the document downloaded to your OneDrive in order to share with your teacher. Once the document has downloaded, the student may enter the teacher's last name. The student can search for the teacher's last name or the student may have the teacher's email address. We would suggest that the teachers share their email address with their students. This can be done on days one through three while you navigate through the Canvas course. Please also note that these lessons can be emailed to you every day, once a week, or perhaps portfolios. Once you are finished with day one science, students may return back home in the upper left corner. And that is your general navigation on Canvas for K-5 Science and Social Studies. I hope this video helped clarify a few things regarding our distance learning. For more information, specifically looking at how to do these things with iPads, visit vcsappleweebly.com. Or you can also contact your teachers through 386-255-6475. Your child's teacher will be providing you with their extension. See you Monday.